Here we go then, Arto Givorkian comes into the ring, red corner, and he boxes for Armenia in action here against Nurzan Karimzanov of Kazakhstan. Four two in the rounds, of course, the last match in our lightweight uh, competition today. This is the bottom end of the draw. There's some pretty useful boxes at the top end as well, take my word for that, including... Well, more of that later. Here we go then for round one. And Givorkian in the red strip got the silver medal in the qualifying tournament in Liverpool. Also picked up a bronze in the 1998 Europeans in Minsk. And came fifth at featherweight in the, Euro in the uh, World Championships in Hungary in 97. And uh, Nurzan Karim Zanov from Kazakhstan, well, he was uh, Asian champion last year. He won that one in Uzbekistan, of all places. And got the bronze medal in the Asian Championships a couple of years ago. So, you know, uh, another pretty useful performer. So, 20 years of age then. Karim Zanov and uh, Artur Givorkian is 25 and much more experienced at a higher level as well, this Armenian. And of course, the winner has the prospect of facing the Australian, who just won in the next round of this competition. Well, as you can see, there's not a single point on the board yet for Givorkian. In fact, uh, quite heavily behind here with uh, about 20 seconds to go in the first round. But of course, he'll be uh, calling on his experience, I think, over the next few rounds to try and pull that back. Oh, good start, then 3-0 up for uh, the Kazakhstani. What if everything was as strong and as durable as a Hyundai? Gone, I'm afraid, in the second round, but uh, as you can see here, Givorkian has decided to turn up the heat and needs to. 3-0 behind after the first session. Well, he's very quick in there after the call to break, wasn't he? So interestingly here, Kivorkian, who may well have been most people's favourites coming into this one, is uh, fighting an uphill struggle. He's uh, against Nurzan Karim, Karim Zanov, of course, of uh, Kazakhstan, who has been something of a revelation here. He's just got into his stride quite quickly. Well, what's going on here? Yes, the vest is torn. That's a shame. Just pin it to or tie it up. Yeah, that's it. Tie it together. 
That's something you don't often see in a boxing ring, isn't it? The action then continues here in the second round with 35 seconds on the clock. Decent boxing, this, isn't it, from uh, Karim Zanoff? from Givorkin, but the bell has come and it's 5-1 still. Well, increased lead there for Karim Zanov. Here we go then for round three. And 5-1 uh, to Karim Zanov of uh, Azerbaijan. Oh, Kazakhstan, my apologies. Um, in the blue. And looking pretty good now for a place in the next round, doesn't he? Well, here they go. And uh, this is really what... Uh, Givorkian needs, he needs a good old-fashioned punch up here and try and get uh, Karim Zanov involved and make him, so, make him vulnerable. But I'm not even sure if he's going to be ta that vulnerable in a good old punch up. 6-3 though. Decent right then for Givorkin. Didn't get scored though by the judges. Givorkin, by the way, 25 years of age. European Championships in 1998. Bronze medalist, of course, that's his best achievement. And this 20 year old uh, Karim Zanov is the reigning Asian champion. And we can only dream, can't we, of places like uh, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan and various other stands around uh, the area. It just seems a million miles away from anything we know, know nothing about their culture. Four-point gap now, in five-point gap in favour of uh, Karim Zanov. Good battle, this one. Yeah, good round again. Six points to the gap now. And this Armenian is on his way out of the Olympic Games for the year 2000. Last round then of our last match on this, our second day of Olympic boxing. In this, our first session of the day. And just to remind you, this Armenian Gevorkian, Arta Gevorkian, has uh, a six-point deficit to make up against this very lively Kazakhstani by the name of, and uh, once again, it's always a bit of a struggle with some of these foreign names, Nurzan Karimzanov, and uh, looking very interesting. Well, that's interesting. This Canadian referee has kicked out the Armenian corner man. All too late at this stage, of course. Oh, and a decent right there, followed by a left hook from Givorkian.
been a torrid battle this one and we, we, we've seen a few of those haven't we the last couple of days the uh, you get um, a couple of these uh, former Soviet Socialist Republics against each other and I'll tell you what they're, they're very evenly matched well that's interesting now the uh, now the Kazakhstan corner man has gone And I must say that this uh, referee, by the way, um, Mr. Wally, very appropriately named in my opinion, from Canada, has been one of the worst. Overly officious, very petty, but uh, that's amateur boxing. At this level, anyway, I keep saying at this level because I go to a lot of amateur boxing shows in Britain. And they're tremendous. Well, big win, big, big win then. And something of an upset. So, Karen Zanoff gets himself a place in the next round and will take on the Australian. And you can only say, what a shame for the Australian, can't you? Um, I don't think he's going to get past Karen Zanoff somehow. 16-6, I think that one finished, didn't it? And there's a decent right from Karen Zanoff. So the first session then of the 48 Ks and the 60 Ks comes to an end. Yep, 16-6. And uh, Kazakhstani Nozan Karimzanov gets himself a place in the next round against the Australian. And I got a feeling that uh, we're going to say goodbye to Michael Katsidis after his next contest. What a shame for him. But anyway, that's the virtually the end of our program for you today. I like boxing from the convention center here in Sydney and um, we have got we've only had of course two days of competition it is spread over 16